Bonjour, my soccer universe. We have reached part four, where the top team in here is Lille. Um, again, how do I choose? I went through the abandoned standings. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on, to kind of separate out the big boys, which this time in France somehow still worked out, but what is not the perfect solution. And then everyone that has a number four next to it ends up in this video. I am wearing, premiere on this channel, my new Bordeaux jersey, I think 16, 17, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure now, but I actually really, really like it. I actually like the Chevron, it's my first Chevron jersey, but there's a little bit of a gradient pattern in there. Uh, we'll talk about this jersey uh, in a bit, because we are already starting with Bordeaux in this video. Bordeaux uh, made a switch to Adidas now, I think they had a Puma a lot. And they switched to Adidas and with that came a new crest as well, which you can see on this jersey. It is now very prominent Bordeaux. You see here the old one, it just said Girondeur de Bordeaux. Then you had the chevron in there and then some sort of pattern that is not uh, very distinct. Now with the new one, what I do like about this one is that you still have the chevron, it's very prominent in there, but it also says very clearly Bordeaux. Um, it's made for the digital age, which is something that I start understanding. I don't necessarily like when crests get changed around from traditional crests too much, but in this case, I think it remains, uh, the it retains the identity and it actually uh, really works well. It's quickly identifiable. Uh, I'm not so sure about the half-half look they have in there. I think that is something I would uh, have done differently. And Adidas also delivers a very decent Bordeaux jer jersey. Um, yes, it's Adidas look, you have the stripes, but I really like the chevron. Maybe a little bit flat. I like this chevron that's uh, more like a V, a little bit better, but it drives well with the chevron that is on the crest. Where I'm actually thinking if you... I don't like centered crest per se, but if you would have put the crest here, uh, maybe that could have been done something, whatever. Uh, as in previous videos, I really like the sponsor Bistro Région because it's so playful. Uh, even if it's big, it doesn't. It actually doesn't uh, distract it. For instance, this one here, the sponsor, while nice and there's a sun on there, uh, it's a little bit a sore spot on another nice, uh, another wise, really nice jersey. I'm not sure if it's not a picture here, but there's also a slight gradient. The jersey gets lighter towards the bottom. Um, I have to say, really nice effort by Adidas. Overall, uh, retains the club's identity and still being a little bit more modern. For that reason, I'm also gonna go high here, nine stars. They also issued, of course, an away jer jer jersey, which is uh, the only other jersey. What? With gold? I'm not so sold on the gold here. I think they are celebrating 140 years or something like that. Maybe that has something to do with it. Um, I do understand the other color. This is like this Bordeaux uh, red. Uh, and you have to be strong there. Uh, yes, it gold. The, I think gold with that goes well. But I have to have had to say when you look at it this way, uh, the crest gets a little bit lost on the white base. I think here, uh, if you want to recolor it, and I'm not in favor of doing that, but here a uh, red one would have fitted better. So, uh, sponsor is nice, but the jersey doesn't excite me much. And for that reason, we give it six stars. On to the CD team Lille. New Balance. Uh, New Balance since they lost Liverpool. I mean, they have a, a, a few good teams and Lille is their team here. Um, newsflash, I had this already in an online shopping cart uh, until I decided, no, I'm not gonna pull the trigger. Uh, they, they, this one rather buy some secondhand jerseys this time around. Um, I was looking into that. Um, I have no set image for a little jer jer jersey. Uh, there is, yeah, it's red with some blue. I actually have to say this for chevron i mean it has a chevron in there but it then it was, uh, pulls it out i have to have it's, a, it's another really strong look lil has had already a very interesting jersey last uh, year um and that the crest and the uh, logo fits in there nicely I, I i really there is something about the jersey that i like is it the prettiest jersey out there no but uh it has a very very strong look and with only one Albeit very big sponsor, but French jerseys usually have, 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 have that. Makes for a pretty decent, unified, 
super strong look. I have to give this um, eight stars. I think that sounds about right. Uh, the away jer uh, jersey is black with a dot pattern, which has a little bit red in there as well. Again, crest is recolored. Other, other than that, I don't mind the black so much. Uh, I think the dot pattern makes it interesting. Uh, my issue is that the Black is not a perfect uh, balance to red. I actually think here, um, you know, as a dedicated away jersey, a white one uh, will do better. Um, this has more a third jersey feel personally to me, but you know, uh, small potatoes. I actually think all over again, decent. I wish they could have played around a little bit more that the crest will fit. You know, make this dark blue and then you have the red pattern and you can make a full colored crest and it looks fine. Uh, still, I think it's a decent jersey and I give this seven stars. And here's the away jersey. Here I don't understand why the body crest is black uh, because I actually really like how they play with the underarms here. I mean, I don't know, it's a boring jersey and when I saw it uh, the other day in the Europa League, uh, you don't really see that there's blue and there's red uh, under the arms. Uh, and there's a lot of black on, on there. But here in this picture, it looks actually quite nice. Hope you agree with me. Um, still, a little bit too little. I actually would like a little bit more splash on there. And uh, also, I'm gonna give this uh, five stars because I think here, putting the full color color crest would actually have done very well with this jersey. I think, uh, and then, you know, you can also play with the sponsor. It, they don't need to be in black. They absolutely don't need to be in black. My personal opinion. Let's go to Lorient. A uh, team that I remember back in the day uh, in there, they also have a new crest uh, where they now, but this is a little, a little bit older, but it's the first time I have seen, seen it. They had only this fish and now they put this big Breton flag in there, you know, uh, the identity for the Bretagne, uh, they are very proud to be Breton. Um, Kappa, we saw Kappa before with Monaco and Angers. Again, pretty decent template. Um, orange, black, what do you want more? Uh, from a Lorient jer jersey. Uh, this looks better than Schachter. I, you know me, I like orange better with white than with black, but I think here it actually looks all right. Um, and I think it's a pretty strong uh, look of overall one that I would even consider giving eight stars for. Uh, if there were more uh, sponsors, of course, this would drop down. Um, the away jersey plays also with the orange and now here's white and now we have black sponsor. I actually like the sash um, that it's a little bit different, um, but it is mainly a white kit. There is, I, d I don't know, there's something missing. Dare I say that I actually wish the sash would alternate orange with black because here uh, the sash is there, but it's not really there. Uh, it kind of gets a little bit washed out. Um, I like the idea that they're doing something different, but what's missing for me is kind of this bam, a uh, special punch that comes. It looks like a very soft jersey in many regards. Um, and so, yeah. If it is one like that with their just the sponsor, I think I could make it for a seven star, but um, I'm afraid they will put a lot of sponsors. And then they put a third jersey uh, where, you know, black is there. The pattern should be orange. Don't you agree, agree with me? Um, but I think there is actually a good reason for it to be blue. The crest is a mess. Uh, the pattern is a mess as well until you realize that this is the Lorient harbor in there and that's why blue because um, you know the sea and, and so on it's a very striking design it is super striking uh, and it takes some local geography into account so for that reason I actually think uh, it is quite nice as a jersey though I have to say the crest is really a mess I honestly would love a little bit more orange in there just for the club's colors but it's it's pretty nice. It, this has a strong and very distinctive look. Um, I'm really, really torn here because on one side, if I would have that information, I would slam this and give it a three stars. Now I'm thinking higher. Uh, the jersey is not bad. I go the easy way out. Let's give this six stars right down the middle. We stay in the Bretagne, although 
technically it's not the Bretagne anymore, historically it is Nantes. And you know, Nantes has also this newish crest, but I think they had it already last season, uh, that goes definitely the Juventus way of uh, making an N there, but it's a little bit of shield. Um, the first time I saw Nantes, I remember they had this green and yellow striped jerseys, and this is what this reminds me of. I actually love Nantes in green and yellow stripes. The only thing is, um, it's fizzling out a little bit to the top, but still, I think I can get on board with it. I cannot get on board, although it's meanwhile, uh, you know, it's a classic that we have the sponsor in red. Um, but yeah. Would it be top of my list? Not necessarily, but is it a good jersey? I actually, it's interesting to look at. It's it's something nice that Macron is putting here, uh, but it's not um, the classic not look that I'm would go for. For that, I would say seven stars. Uh, the away jersey in black and yellow. I'm okay, okay. I think I can get on board with this one. Uh, Maybe the green is a little bit missing, but it doesn't need to be there. Maybe the pinstripes could have been green, but then it would be too messy. Um, hmm. I don't dislike it. I also like that the sponsor, you know, here in yellow, it, it, it makes, like, I, I'm gonna give this uh, also a seven star. I think it's uh, not, I overall like what Nantes is doing this season, and I know a Nantes jersey is in order for my because Nantes is probably one of those teams that I really, really like there. And interesting enough, uh, Nice is doing something very similar to Nantes, um, but here it doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. This is more a black jersey with, with a little bit of red. For Nantes, the classic is a, a plain yellow. For Nice, you want to see a striped jersey. Uh, and that's why this doesn't really work for me. Uh, it gets too black. I mean, I totally like the. I, I actually like the sponsor. Um, there's something cool, cool about it, but the overall design leaves me wanting. Um, yes, nice color by Macron and 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 so on. But I'm afraid this is, cannot give more than five stars. It just does not connect with me, honestly. What connects a lot more is this jersey, though. Uh, that's a beauty. That's absolutely a beauty. Uh, this is one of the best jerseys out there uh, this season and uh, a clear nine star. I haven't given a 10 yet. Uh, for 10, uh, there's a little bit more is needed, needed. It's just too plain white, but I, uh, especially around the shoulders. Uh, but I really love the color. This is a color I would like to see in a Milan away jersey, white with this color. Um, I totally love the red and black stripes. Um, Binding, uh, 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 bordering the, the sponsor, I would love if it could wrap around a little bit like Sampdoria style. Uh, it's uh, this is one of the better, better ones uh, for ten. But you know, I have not seen a ten star jersey yet in my reviews, and it remains this way. The away jersey again is blue. I don't know why we need the gray gradient to black. Yeah, yeah, but blue. <laughs> Blue, you red and black, blue, and blue Marseille color. I don't know. Uh, and the gradient in there. This is the one where you lose me a little bit too. To be honest, I'm gonna give this four stars. At least has a full colored crest. We did it. We looked at all the Liga jer jerseys. So let me know what you thought about jerseys in this video. How you enjoyed the Liga review in overall. I have not decided if I do Bundesliga or La Liga next or if I should already start the Champions League re uh, review, but I probably will try to finish the league reviews. And yeah, I'm even thinking of doing for the Austrian Bundesliga Eredivisie and, and those that I'm also covering, but maybe this comes later. I know Champions League, uh, potentially cha Champions League or a Bundesliga next. I think this is where I'm thinking at the moment. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Drop a comment below what you thought about uh, the uh, jerseys in this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!